Hi, my name is Sam Sandoval. I'm a faculty and a cooperative extension specialist here at UC Davis. So, today we're going to be talking about SIGMA, or the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act. So, SIGMA, or the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act, um, is a legislation that passed because, well, uh, to manage uh, groundwater sustainably after the five-year drought that we had in our state. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this legislation, uh, it doesn't talk about what sustainability is, but it mentioned what is not. So basically, it refers to the legislation tries to uh, prevent that six undesirable results happen. So let me explain to you what are those six undesirable results. Undesirable result number one, chronic lowering of groundwater levels. So as we have seen, as we keep extracting water out, uh, basically all those groundwater, um, all those water levels can go down. So what this legislation is trying to prevent that through time, the water table um, under uh, the aquifers that we're withdrawing will go or will continue to go down. Second undesirable result, that is referred to um, unreasonable reduction of groundwater, or in this case, groundwater overdraft. What does that mean? It means that the water that is recharged in our, that more water is taken out of the aquifer than the water that is recharged into, um, into the aquifer. So, yeah, the, the, uh, it's just preventing that the um, recharge is less than the groundwater extraction. And the cerebral result, number three, um, seawater intrusion. So, in some of our um, groundwater basins throughout the coast, uh, more water is actually taken out of the aquifer than the water that is being recharged. What that is mean, that is um, provoking, is to allow all the water from the sea see water intruded or moving into our aquifers and this is something that this legislation is preventing So as the water levels are reducing and more water is extracted, water from the sea is moving into our groundwater aquifers. Point number four, <clears throat> avoiding land subsidence. Uh, as we have seen, um, as some of the as, as we're extracting more water out of the ground, that water is leaving empty space because we have a large water column of soil that is actually quite heavy, all that weight is actually compacting uh, all those empty spaces that are there and all that soil, doing some, um, provoking some land subsidence. Um, this is mostly happening in the south part of the San Joaquin and the Tulare Basin.
but it can happen in other in in, in other uh, places. Um, undesirable result number five: degradation of groundwater quality. So basically, uh, what this uh, point number five is, is is talking is that the water that is recharged it has to be clean, so it will not degrade all the water that is already in the aquifer. And finally, at least but not last, point number six is basically to prevent the depletion or the interconnection of surface water and groundwater resources. As we have seen, rivers and aquifers are always connected. It's just a matter of time, but they are connected. So what this legislation is preventing is that these two get disconnected. So we know that originally the surface water and groundwater is connected. What this legislation is trying to prevent is that they, as you're extracting more water and the water levels are reducing, that, that these two surface water and groundwater get disconnected. Okay, so. <clears throat> This is what the legislation is basically trying to avoid. Now, so what does it mean for every Californian? Number one, um, basically, uh, it will have three main pieces that have to be implemented so you know how to participate in this legislation. Number one, when a groundwater budget will be created. So this groundwater budget, it will develop a diagnosis to see if any of these six undesirable results um, are happening or not happening in your, uh, in your groundwater basin. And point number two, um, an agency, a groundwater sustainable agency will be created. So that's the one that will implement that legislation. So this agency, uh, the legislation said that uh, ideally it will be from uh, local institutions. Some of people will come from the county offices, local irrigation districts, um, local citizens in your area. So keep posted on that. Now, once this agency is created, how they are going to avoid these six undesirable results? Well, they are going to develop a plan. And by developing a plan, and finding if there is any of these six undesirable results, they will try to keep track and find a specific uh, measures so um, they can avoid these, any of these six undesirable results. So in summary, number one, we have a new legislation, the uh, Sustainable Groundwater Management Act. What this legislation is trying is to avoid six undesirable results. Um, how is this going to be rolling out for the, entire, for the state of California? Number one, um, we're going to have a di diagnosis that is called a groundwater budget. Number two, an agency, a group of people will get together to carry out, ideally locally, and uh, to carry out the implementation of the agency. Point number three, the, this agency will develop a plan to try to um, avoid and monitor that none of these six undesirable results happen in your groundwater basin. Stay tuned. Thank you.